news, my lovely, wonderful people. Yes, so Buhari has been told there is no way for you to ever go to, you can no longer escape, okay? Before you said you will escape and your escape route will be Niji. There is no more escape route for you. You are no longer escaping to Niji. That's, you know, uh, they should leave me. I will go to Niji. It's gradually out of the show. You know, you can no longer escape to Niji. We are watching you. Uh, don't forget that the borders are closed. This guy wanted to do what he can do and just move. But guess what? It is no longer business as usual because things are changing quite quickly and quite rapidly. And so there is no there is no hiding place. You know, for a good fish, it is difficult to hide. Uh, good fish in the sense that there is a lot of abnormalities that have happened and every single person is watching and is waiting to see what the line of action will be. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Buhari, you can no longer escape to Niji. Yes, your time is up. So uh, some of us know that um, they've been asking if Tinubu will investigate Buhari and what have you. And this is what it is at the moment. Now the border is closed. You know, that uh, escape route and that plan you have will no longer stand. Right. Let's get all the details. President Tinubu has said that the former president, Muhammadu Buhari, could no longer fulfill his earlier promise of seeking refuge in the Nigerian Republic. There is no more hiding place. You can no longer go to Niger. Tinubu stated this in unveiling of two books titled Walking with Buhari 2015 to 2023. Muhammadu Buhari, the Nigerian president between 2015 to 2023 in Abuja, volume one to five was done in Abuja, the unveiling of the book. Recall that Buhari has previously stated his intention to depart to Niger Republic if he could, couldn't find sufficient rest in his hometown in Castina Dara, his, where he has been a Katorera. His official handover as president took place on May the 1st. However, President Tinubu Kantara's statement said to Kotigori said to Buhari, there is no more escape for you. There is no more hiding place. You can no longer run to Niji. The borders are closed. It is closed. No one will, no one will open it for you. That uh, plan to escape to Niger is totally out of the of the picture. No escape route whatsoever. This is what it is. However, President Tinobo countered him, saying the borders are closed. You can't run. You are stuck. Tinubu said when President Buhari was leaving office, he said he would retire to Castina State, far away from Abuja, to enjoy his well-deserved retirement from public service. However, there is no way forward. I remember he added that if, he, if his supporters and friends deny him of rest in Dara Castina State, he will run to the Republic of Niger. Well, as well as you know, he can no longer escape to Niger Republic. Because of the border closure, it is closed. I am therefore extremely happy to receive him here in Abuja. We are all here today to honor a great man, a patriot and an addict political servant who offered his best to the service of this country since he joined the army in 1962 at the age of 18. After the coup in, in Niger in, in July 26, after the coup, he, he also has been head of state in the 80s and also became a civilian president. He finally retired when he handed over to me. But that dream of going to Niger is totally out of the picture now. So, my people, that was what, uh, you know, Buhari told him. You're thinking, you're dreaming of going to the Niger Republic. Well... Sorry, but not sorry. And he said it in a joking manner. Of course, in a in a book, uh, in a book uh, launch, said you know the dream that Buhari has been nursing that if anything happened and it becomes too hot, he will go to Niger. That dream is no longer possible because as it stands at the moment, we all know exactly that the borders are closed and every single person is watching. You know the issue. In fact, governors in the lines of those uh, countries who share borders with Niger, 
you know, especially in the north, about seven governors are even crying that the border should be open because it is affecting them, affecting trade, you know, and everything, and um, they will love it to be open. So this is what is happening. This is what is going on. Um, Muhammad Buhari saved this nation. But I believe, you know, if you've listened to his statement, he lives in regret because this is a man who had an opportunity to bring about a change. But what did he do? Absolutely nothing. In fact, we're hearing that the Naira redesign, you know, it was, it was not even, it was not even his idea. And even when he brought it to him, don't forget that he made a, a broadcast about it. He's telling us that, you know, why people are accusing him Mayfeli, that it was all a Mayfeli plot. Buhari stands, you know, free. Meanwhile, we are, you want to, you want you say trees disturbing you. You don't want the tree anymore because the roots and the stems is beginning to dig into your foundation of your building. What you do is not cut the leaves. It's not cut the branch. When you do that, you are pruning it and it's only a matter of time. It's going to get bigger, better, and it's going to destroy even more. You go straight to the roots. You go for the roots. Take it up and you will never have that problem again. So why Mayfeli is being held, being, you know, being interrogated and asked to deliver and all that. But guess what? Some other persons are, are going free. People like Buhari. So the borders are closed. Tinubu, in case you have the courage, you're bold enough to interrogate uh, Buhari. The borders are closed. There is no running to Niger Republic where he had initially planned. You know, man proposes, but God disposes. Yeah, God is the one who has the final say. So... You can't just wake up one morning and say, ah, this is what, this is it, this is it. You have to be careful. Care must be taken and taken quite seriously. Okay? So this is what is happening. So, Tinubu, in case you are courageous enough to face Buhari, this is it. This is what is happening. And every single individual needs to understand that, you know, this country must move forward. You know, and that's why we want to get rid of every everyone, criminal activities and the uh, wicked activities that have continued to cover this country, you know, we need to we need to move past it and ensure that this nation become a better place for all. So you see, this is what is happening. Anyway, my lovely, wonderful people, it is time, it is important that we all rise up and we ensure that we do all that is right for us. Leave us a comment. Please don't forget to like us, share, subscribe, click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. God bless. Have a fantastic day. From us, it's bye for now. Don't forget, you have a voice. Bye-bye.